One of the most powerful tools for success is the Mastermind Alliance, which is essentially finding a small group of people who meet for the mutual benefit of the rest of the group. This idea was popularized by Napoleon Hill, who wrote the book, Think and Grow Rich. In his research of the most successful people in the country, he found folks like Henry Ford, who was in a mastermind with Thomas Edison, inventor of the light bulb, and Harvey Firestone, who built the tire empire. According to Ford's biographers, Mr. Ford's most rapid strides became noticeable from the time he became a personal friend of Thomas Edison. While you yourself may be as brilliant as Henry Ford, even Henry Ford needed someone else's brilliance to help unlock his. In this video, we'll talk through how you set up a mastermind, the structure of the meetings, who to invite, and what the potential outcomes will be. When three or more people meet in a spirit of perfect harmony with the selfless goal to help one another, then a mastermind is formed. The frequency and length of meetings will help in building momentum for every member of the mastermind. And when all three are selflessly helping each other succeed, what you get is a multiplicative and exponential effect. One plus one plus one doesn't equal three, it might equal 111 or 111,000 or 111 million. The structure of your mastermind is centered around having regular meetings where each member gets a specific amount of time to discuss and describe their ideas, challenges, or opportunities. The rest of the mastermind will offer suggestions and advice to that member until it's their turn to share. Having a set agenda is helpful to keep your mastermind meetings on track, and the right amount of time is really dependent on how often you meet, how many in your mastermind, and how much time you have available. It's customary for a mastermind meeting with three people to go between two to three hours so that everyone gets at least 45 minutes to an hour to share and be counseled by the group. Last, and probably most importantly, is the commitment that you make to your other mastermind partners. Engaging in a mastermind should have just as high a level of commitment as your most pressing assignments. The commitment to each other's success is central to a successful mastermind. Who you ask to be a part of your mastermind is based on the kinds of people you think would be beneficial to your future plans. Think through your Power 100 list, which is discussed in the Networking for Students module. Within that list of 100 people who like, love, and respect you, who could you see adding benefit to what it is you do on a massive scale? Similarly, how could you add to those people's lives, given what and who you know? It's best to test a mastermind group by inviting a select number to the first meeting and suggest deciding after the second meeting if this will continue. It may take you a couple tries to attract the right people to your group. Just know they're out there looking for something just like this. Once in this mastermind, agree on the boundaries of your group. Those might include time limits for sharing, topic limits, things like politics or social media might be totally off the table, the privacy of who is in the group or what is talked about, exclusivity of who can be in the mastermind, and whether or not you're going to meet in dedicated space each and every time. Having these boundaries set makes running the mastermind that much easier. And of course, the one major agreement you're all making is when you meet, have a selfless drive to help your mastermind partners. You'll probably introduce them to people, offer resources you have, brainstorm with them, and pick apart their ideas. As long as it's done with a selfless drive to help them grow, the Mastermind Alliance works. And you'll know it's working because you'll experience the following outcomes from your group. New ideas for business and life in general, guidance on how to handle particular situations, introductions to people who will be very influential in your life, accountability, which can be just as valuable as anything else, and honest feedback, an important gift whether you want to hear it or not. The most successful people in history have been aided by people close to them in a mastermind alliance type setting. Find your group, if even to test how to run a successful mastermind, and see for yourself how powerful a mind collective can be.